The average Canadian spends more than 43 hours a month on the internet. That is twice the worldwide average. But how many of us have thought about turning our surfing habits into financial success stories? Erica Diamond is a success coach, author, and founder of the women's lifestyle blog, womenonthefence.com. She joins us from Montreal this morning with tips on how to make money online. Good to see you, Erica. Hi, Marcy. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Hope you are, too. Uh, tell us what the first call to action should be uh, when you're looking at building a website. Well, your first call to action was something that I made a mistake with at the beginning when I built my website, and that is having the call to action to subscribe. You want your visitors and users to press that button, subscribe or sign up, and you want their names and email addresses. You want to start collecting that so when you actually have an offer, a monetizable offer, you have a captive audience. And you mentioned monetizing. Uh, let's go through some of the strategies that you would use in order to do just that, in order to make money on your website. And the first thing that you mentioned, Erica, uh, is, is, is corporate sponsorship. How easy is that to, to, to get? Yes, sure. So on my website, I have corporate sponsors. And this is, again, where traffic is key. Eyeballs do convert to dollars. So you want to know how many visitors and how many users and how long they're staying on your site, where they're coming from. So a good tool for you to install is Google Analytics. It's a tracker, and this lets you know your traffic. And when you start having some good traffic, you can start attracting some corporate sponsors to your site and start monetizing. So there yeah. you go. So traffic, eyeballs, convert to dollars, very important stuff. Uh, and then you mentioned using banner ads. How does that work? Well, if you go to womenonthefence.com, you can see that I have a bunch of placements. I have a top banner ad and a bunch on the side. So you pretty much have two options when selling advertising space on your site. You can sell your own banner ads, and this is... You know, some people love to do this because you get to keep all of the revenue and you don't share it with anyone. Um, I always say start local if you're selling your own ads. You may have a captive audience right in your own city. Or you can do what I do, which is I use a, um, a media company and they find great banner ads, great brands to advertise on my site, but I don't get to keep all the money and I obviously share some of the revenue with them. So those are your two options for banner ads. You also talk about paid brand ambassadors. Uh, what are they and, and how does that work? Sure. Well, a paid brand ambassador, um, that's something that I do, and that is where a brand will leverage your audience to promote their product. So you will be doing a combination of blog posts on your website or YouTube video series or Twitter parties on Twitter or Facebook postings. It's where you leverage your audience for a brand and you promote that brand to your audience as and a brand ambassador or a spokesperson. And do you have to be forthright? Do you tell your audience that that's what you're doing? Absolutely. You know, for me, it's all about transparency and authenticity and integrity. So I let my audience know when I'm a hired paid brand ambassador. And, and those are my rules for sure. And I would recommend them for anyone. What, sure. is, what does it mean, Erica, to turn yourself into a brand? Because I don't think, you know, uh, many people see themselves that way as a brand. Well, if you're in business to make money, you should. You know, what I always say, what are your talents? And can you sell those talents online? Meaning, can you, was there a talent that you had where you can coach people online? Can you create webinars or teleseminars or eBooks and sell those to your list? That's when I said to start building that list early. Or if you don't have your own offer yet, there's plenty of experts out there looking to pay people commission so you can earn a handsome commission by selling other people's programs. And these are called affiliate links. Okay. So what are your talents and can you turn them into a course or something and sell them to your audience? All right. Some great stuff. Interesting suggestions. Thank you so much, Erica. Always good to see you. Thank you. You'll find a link to Erica's website at canadaam.ctvnews.ca.